We are off on another adventure today. Um, this vlog may end up just being some highlights from the adventure because it's not too crazy, really. I mean, just a little bit here and there. Uh, Jesse, Zarel, and Jesse's parents are fishing. So Zarel caught her very first fish. Grandpa put you on fish. Okay, you got it. Reel it up, baby. Reel it up. You got it. Look at it. Get it. I got it, baby! Come, look at daddy. Look at daddy. Stop reeling. Stop reeling. Look at daddy. That's <laughs> the video. She's pretty excited about that. She doesn't want to touch the fish. I don't eat fish. Jesse doesn't like touching fish. Jesse likes to eat fish. I don't think Zarel would like to eat fish. I don't, I know, um, but I don't fish, so I'm kind of roaming around, uh, capture a little bit of drone footage, kind of flying over or near the lake. I don't want to fly over the lake because my drone's pretty quiet, but nonetheless, I didn't want to, you know, still fly over the lake. So I flew near it, got some cool shots of the area, uh, shots of mountains and everything like that. So I just kind of roamed around and kind of wandered off. So I'm on this little trail here on the opposite side of the lake. Um, there's a spot over here that I had to like kind of crossover where like the bridge is all really washed out so I feel like not a lot of people want to hang out over here because it's a little bit harder to get to there's probably a lot of like city folk people over here that do not like to venture off from everybody else um, so I ran into two other people they were trying to figure out a way to get back to the campground area and I told them oh yeah you can go back this way which is the way I came from but I told them that the bridge was kind of washed out you might get a little bit wet and they, I guess they didn't like that idea. So they took off a different way and they went the, the long way around, which gets you back there and keeps you dry. So they were not as adventurous as I am to take a path off the beaten path. But we're gonna come over here. You can probably hear the water in the background, possibly. Uh, it's pretty washed out in this area. There, there's a shit ton of snow on mountains. I mean, that's kind of crazy, right? Because we're already almost, or no, we are in July. We're in July, the beginning of July, and there's still snow here, right? Snow in the mountains. And all that snow has to melt and go somewhere. So it's usually kind of filling up the rivers and the lakes around here and everything, which is good. It's, it provides water um, to, the, to the valley and everything, but also a lot of areas get kind of washed out. And this is one of those areas that's getting a lot of water, so it's getting pretty washed out. So there's like this little bridge that you would probably use a vehicle to cross, but it's kind of washed out. You gotta be careful of crossing it, you know, because you get a little bit wet. I mean, you probably will get swept down the river or anything, but I'll show you, I'll, check this out. So right over here is where this bridge is at. Ugh, I gotta make my way through the jungle here, get across the water a little bit. But here we got this bridge pretty washed out. It looks cool though, probably really loud. But yeah, you might get a little bit, a little bit wet on the shoes, unless you walk over here, which is what I did. But yeah, those uh, city guys, they, uh, they weren't having it, I guess. It looks cool. And it washes down that way down to the lake. So, yeah, right back there, you know, you make it across. So now I'm gonna venture my way back to Jesse and Zarel and everybody and see how they're making on progress of catching fish. I think they're just gonna take the fish back with uh, Jesse's mom and uh, Eric and everything, and they'll go back with them because uh, we're not taking, taking the fish back. I don't eat fish, like I said, so no point in me taking it back or me and Jesse taking it back or anything. So. They're gonna catch the fish and keep them and do whatever they do, eat them, I guess, I don't know. So we'll check in and see how they're doing. They had a, a gate like this over by where everybody's fishing at. And it's got a bunch of stickers like on the back plate and everything. As I was coming through this way, you notice there's no stickers on this one because again, this is kind of off the beaten path. So a lot of the city folk that probably come up here don't come this way, but maybe locals, maybe people are a little bit more adventurous like me might kind of a thing, I don't know. But there's no stickers on here, but I decided to add one. So if you ever come to intake two, near Bishop, California, and you go a little off the beaten path and you find this little trail over here, make sure you take a photo of the chaos sticker that I left to let me know if it's still there. You guys got lots of fish? No. I caught no. one. You caught one? Another one? Hey, Grandma! Can we go down? He went to go find you! Zarel is getting pretty grumpy, so I think it's time to abandon, abandon the area. Abandoned fishing. Just back there whining. Talking about being hungry. 